So we're going to waste no time here. The first thing you do is grab a bunch of algae, put it in a jar, and fill it up with water. You could also fill it up with leaves and other organic matter. You should be able to see lots of living organisms moving and swimming about. I got a sample from the surface of the water and then put it on top of a slide. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like to the human eye, you can see tons of organisms moving around. Whenever getting samples from this pond, I always get Frontonia, and they're huge. I followed this one around for a while to see if it would eat anything, but had no luck. I found this other Frontonia spitting out what looks to be like a rotifer, and this is due to the pressure of the slide. And then of course you have the very common Paramecium, also known as the Slipper Animalcule. Next, we have a bunch of Kaleb cells that seem to have gathered around a dead crustacean. It's most likely a seed shrimp. If you look closely, you can see the plates that surround the Kaleb's body, and it's actually an armor made up of calcium carbonate. This next one's pretty cool. It's a Euglena, but you can see the flagellum, which is pretty rare. The flagella is located right next to the organism's red eye spot. Many organisms use this microscopic appendage to help them move freely in the water, but since they're so tiny and translucent, it's usually really hard to see. I also looked around under polarizing light and saw this seed shrimp was standing out. The reason they stand out so much is due to the birefringent properties of their shell. This next one I was unsure of, so I guess it's just an honorable mention. It got caught on this little tiny piece of algae for a while. This is sped up around 4x. I think it may be some kind of radiophyra, but I'm not positive on the ID. Let me know down below in the comments what you would all like to see next.